what's up red squad so i just went to the honda dealer and picked up my oem sport grill so um well there's a few issues well not really issues but there are a few changes i'm gonna make to it um right away before i put it on the car so first of all we're gonna start with um getting rid of the chrome i got some vinyl over here so i'm gonna um start wrapping the chrome pieces and then take the oem badges off all right guys so this is how it looks um you have this chrome piece right here that's supposed to fit into these slots right here and it pretty much came assembled the way you see it that's exactly how i took it out the box so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna remove this um chrome emblem and i'm gonna um I'm gonna cut a piece of the black vinyl that I have and I'm gonna try to wrap this real quick in gloss black and then I'm gonna put it together and see if I could go assemble it on the, to the car. So yeah, so here's the vinyl that I got. It's, um, I got it from Vivid Vinyls. Um, I actually bought it on Amazon and yeah, so that's the roll of vinyl that I got. It's a Vivid, so yeah, that's a brand. And I think it's like 10 by 10 or 10 by five, something like that. Anyways, the main reason why I bought this vinyl was because I told y'all earlier that I was gonna redo my roof wrap. So by now y'all seen that um, in yesterday's video, you seen that I took the roof wrap off. So now I'm gonna just use a little piece of this and get rid of all the chrome on this maybe i could actually wrap this oem emblem but i don't really think it's gonna match because you already know i had the jdm red double emblems on the car so i don't think the black is gonna match with the the red and black on the back of the car so i'm just gonna take that one completely off all right guys so i got the vinyl film cut um pretty much just enough to um cover this obviously there's gonna be excessive film but there's no way to really avoid that so I got that all shaped out to match this. So I'm just gonna clean this off with some alcohol and then I'm gonna um, heat the vinyl with a hair dryer and then I'm gonna use a squeegee and get that. So I'm done wrapping the garnish um, for the grill. As you can see, it's gloss black, like it's glossy. It's a little bit dirty because the fingerprints and stuff haven't cleaned that off yet, but this is how it's looking right now. And I'm gonna attach it to the rest of the grill right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm probably gonna wrap the H, but like I said, I'm not putting that back on the car. Right, guys, just so I took the H off. Um, these little things around the back of it to hold it on there. I pretty much broke it just to get it off. I don't think there was a way to get this off. So I just, I just popped it off, honestly. I mean, worst case scenario, I could just double side tape it back on there if I need to put this on there, which I won't. So, um, now we just go ahead and, um, put this in. Uh, so, yeah, I think it just pops in there pretty much. And yeah, so it just pops in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it in, and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so I popped it in. Um, it's held on to like with these clips and stuff back here. So yeah, that's how it looks. So I'm gonna, um, there's the little screws that came with the package. I'm assuming they go in these little holes right here. There's one there. And there's one right here, there's one over here, and there's one over here. So I'm just gonna put those in, and then we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna try taking the one off the car. All right, so we're gonna take this one off the car. It's like an overlay, it goes over the um, the 
the stock um, stock chrome grill that was on there. You could actually tell it's an overlay because you can see how the emblem is like sunken in there. I'm not really a fan of how that looks, especially with like the emblem being in there. So I'm just gonna take this off. And yeah, so first put these here. So first, just gonna pop the hood. Oh, left my keys inside. Dang. Anyways, I'm gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna take the clips out, and then I'm gonna get back to it. So now that we get the, the clips out. See, this becomes now loose. Let's start from the side, just pop it out. And then the challenge, everything pretty much is good. The hard part is right here, because this is um, held on by clips, like right here. So, um, I probably gotta get like a, like a, right, let's see. So, just gonna put your hand behind here and try to get the, um, the clips out. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can do that. All right, yeah. All right, guys. So I use this thing because it's bent. Actually, it's actually the perfect shape to get it out. So you put it like right here where this clip is at, and you just um push down to um to undo the clip. So see, it's coming loose. Um, just pull back and then there's one more clip down here it's the same thing again just put it in there and then push down to get the clip undone black overlay off it's right over here um, for this like I said it's just clips so all this is held in by clips right here um, they're all like fastened behind um, in here so once you like push and you get them out, you can use like a screwdriver because that's what I'm about to use. It becomes easier. So or you could just pull on it and they will come out. There we go. So you see they're starting to come out. And boom. All right guys, so now we're about to put this on there. Let's see how it turns out. Um, I really like the way it looks with the, because I wrapped this black. So it matches everything else. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, Put it on there. It's all clipped, so it should pretty much fit the same way the the other one did. And yeah, just push it in. The clips are tight. And there you go. It's on there. And now we're going we're gonna to go ahead and put the emblem on there. It's already cleaned right here with some simple green. Um, it's already clean. So clean it off. And then we're going to peel this off and then put it on there. Okay. Whatever. Hey okay, guys, so peel these off and just make sure that it's centered before you like really place it on there. So you can just gently put it and make sure you have it um, center mass. There you go. It's perfectly on there. It ain't gonna fall off. And then now that makes a big difference. As you can see from the side right here, you can see how the, the emblem is now um, poking out. That was the effect I really needed at first and not the um, 
and that one was hiding inside the, the grill cover. So that looks badass. Like that is sick. Uh, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it, guys. Um, it looks really good. Not gonna lie.